Jaden Rikus and I ride on the Burner Suzuki. When I was a little over four years old, my first Christmas, we got a Peewee 50. My pop was into racing motocross, so uh, obviously it ran through the family a little bit. Dad had a bike and whatnot, teed off from there. I started racing local events and it's kind of just grew to where I am now. I grew up in Perth, Western Australia, so it was quite isolated. All our local events over there, state titles, and we travel over to do the nationals uh, once a year, so that's kind of uh, what I grew up racing and then before the transition over to Melbourne. Yeah, the teams that I've ridden for over the years has started off on a 50cc all the way through to 250s. I rode for the Yamaha Junior Development Program. After last year, I moved up to MX1 and from there it kind of uh, eventuated into uh, Suzuki coming forward and putting something through a dealership program. I got in contact with Adam Berner from Berner Suzuki and Seaford and then it kind of all fell into place after there. Steve Powell from SPMX, he also is uh, located there. so got a nice little package going and that's kind of just all fell into place. You want honest man, but you don't Obviously the teams have got so many sponsors that go in and a lot of people putting their time in so it's all it's all business where Adam he comes from a racing background himself and he always likes to have a little bit of a laugh so um, you know as long as he sees me putting in the effort then he's all happy and smiles and we seem to get along pretty well. Got so much I need to cover. Uh, last year I had a little bit of an off year with some injuries at the start so coming into this year I'll, I went back to the bases and, and got a job and I think that's relieved me financially not having to know that I've got to go to the races on the weekend just to earn a wage. I'm financially stable and able to kind of switch off the money sign and just go there and have fun and I think the results are coming with that. I think everything's got to be quality over quantity. I think this is a whole package from food, the way you train, the habits you've got at home, what you do on the bike, doing everything the best you can and obviously paying a lot of attention to what the other guys around you are doing and, and kind of studying the sport. It's just like going to school or or having a job, you're always continually doing something to progress and get better. So kind of taking that on board and learning. Coping with working and riding has been pretty difficult this year. The lack of riding and the lack of training that I've been able to fit in due to the long hours has been a little bit difficult, but I've uh, had some goals set out at the beginning of the year and the results have kind of fallen into the areas that I thought I was capable of, of doing. But in terms of how much time I've kind of invested into, into the motorbikes this year, I'm quite pleased with how everything's unfolding. So like anything, you, you get on with things, you manage it and, and make it work. So put it this way, I'm looking forward with these results to hopefully go full time and still work a couple of days next year, but have a little bit more time to put some more effort into the bike. The changes have been massive for, for 2019, obviously uh, jumping up to the 450 class, taking on a full-time job and recently in the six-week national break I've had a little baby boy so the hands are full and there's, there's plenty to do but it's uh, at the same time it's rewarding coming home to a family. I'm uh, pretty optimistic with how this year's kind of gone so far and how the future is going to unfold so I'm excited to see what I can do in 2020 and the next couple of months ahead. You